Let's make coffee. And put on my laundry. And I'm gonna do my nails. I bought dinner. <laughs> Nuggets, cheeseburger, and fries. Oh my gosh! After one month, almost one month of waiting, British Airways finally emailed me to book my assessment day. Uh, I'm so torn if I'm gonna book it before my holiday. I think it's better to book it before I go to Portugal, right? I don't want to be worrying about it when I'm in Portugal. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'll book it 8th of March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! The following day, I got my glasses and coffee. It's a nice day today. I'm able to catch my train. Yeah. I'm not working now, so. I'm gonna do a quick try on with my new glasses. <laughs> my hair is a mess because it's so windy outside. So this one is the Marc Jacobs one. It gave me nice designer cases. So windy outside, you can hear it. a different brand but they still gave me the nice case Mark Jacobs one oh, this one is so much lighter I like it so much okay gonna get ready for work I think I'm gonna wear this one don't worry I'm gonna fix my baby hair later before I go to work Pretty. Just focus on the glasses. Such a nice view, right? Several days later. Good morning, guys. It's today. It's my assessment day. I just woke up and I'm freaking out. I'm gonna have my coffee now so that I can start my day and try to practice a little bit. It's seven o'clock. Seven ten. 10 past 7 and uh, my assessment is at 8.30 I just need to put some makeup on, do my hair and get dressed <laughs> So guys, I don't know how I can find a look I'm so nervous Oh, but I'm going to do now See you later. There were so many of us. Look. And of course, I tried to keep the privacy of British Airways, so this is just the welcome, welcome part of the PowerPoint. I just finished my assessment and I got dressed and I went straight to the station because I need to go to work. I think my interview was alright. The role play part was alright, but with the interview, I feel like I couldn't please her with my answers. I'm not really satisfied, but hopefully I get it. My train is here. Wish me luck. I was able to answer all the questions. I feel like she wasn't satisfied with my answer, so... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I'm so scared. I hope I get it. Hey guys, just got home from work. I just wanted to tell you about my assessment in the assessment there were so many of us but not as many as when i applied for qatar airways in the philippines it was a lot like a thousand of candidates 
I think we were like 20, 25, I don't know. But yeah, there were so many of us. And I was early. Shout out to Gurleen. <laughs> I hope you're proud of me. I was so early. It was a virtual assessment, obviously. So I went inside the meeting room half an hour early. And I was inside the room. And I think I was inside the room with the recruiters without any other candidates i think because you know how you can see in the meeting it says um guest 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 or if you were a candidate you'd have your name and then guests and then if you were a recruiter it's just gonna be your name and i think i was inside that room with the recruiters and uh, i don't know i th i feel like that's an advantage of going into the room early and i also had my camera on right away and i was like when i entered hello good morning <laughs> <laughs> anyways so the assessment took part from 8 30 to 12 30 and most of the time it was just me and the other candidates basically all of us had to do right to work in the uk check which means we had to show our passports and our ids and then the next one would be our role play next step would be the interview so there were like three parts of it and most of the time we were just in the room with the other candidates and then if it was our turn for the right to work check we would just get invited to another room with a recruiter everything was with the cabin crew and that interview with the cabin crew as well so yeah everything was one-on-one -on -one and while waiting we were in this room with the other candidates so yeah basically i was just waiting most of the time and my right to work check was like two minutes and then the role play was just like five minutes and then the interview was like 25 minutes so 25 plus 5 32 minutes so the rest of the time was just chatting with the other candidates basically it was like our free time we could go have coffee and go have a pee break yeah all the candidates were just talking i think i feel like we were being judged at that time as well so i was just i just opened my camera i was just listening to the other candidates there were a lot of candidates that were always talking about themselves i mean and i was just there commenting like oh yeah yeah oh yeah i've been to this place oh, oh that happened to me too blah 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 but like you know i was just interacting but i wasn't really talking about myself but yeah there were like, like a lot of people like a lot of candidates that were talking about themselves and i was just uh, trying to interact the most that i can instead of just because there were also other candidates that had their cameras off and they were muted and they were really not interacting so i think they were like uh minus points they said they were gonna update us in seven days for sure so hopefully it's gonna come earlier so i don't have to be worrying about it in portugal so yeah overall it was fun it was such a great experience i hope i get it and oh i have a dick i need to pack for portugal because our flight is the day after tomorrow thanks for listening <laughs>